Korra is about to come out in Fortnite and we already have the basics that will be in the game as well as some small leaks of what is coming for this collaboration. Stay in this video to know in detail everything that is coming and what will be the next characters that could come out in one of the most played video games of the moment, this is Appa Comics. To begin with, these are some of the little things that are available to see directly in the game. Although everything will be unlocked from April 2nd, as a preview you can already see some things. Among them we have two backgrounds for the character's frame, one of which is made by Irene Ko who made the drawings for the Turf Wars comic saga. This image looks nice, but I find the drawing style of the comic horrible, what do you think? Something similar happens in imbalance in relation to previous comics. I don't think it's bad for a short story, like the ones compiled in Lost Adventures, but for a trilogy I think it's a lot of a big change in the drawing style. The next thing that will be unlockable is this kind of skin when the character falls from the parachute with the four elements. This is genius, I would download Fortnite exclusively to have these skins. Five minutes later. Hello, here I am with my Fortnite account. Ah, you can only unlock this by paying for the battle pass. No offense, Aang, but I'll hold the money from now on. We continue with the colors of the Southern Water Tribe for weapons, and two species of axes. They look like axes but says Waterbenders Battle Fans. Finally we have the Korra skin from Season 1 and a LEGO version of it. The skins look quite impressive. Honestly not having played Fortnite before, I can't be very objective either but knowing Avatar it looks the same without any details. We go to page 2 where we have another background image but this time mixed with other characters from the next event. Then a reaction where the avatar's face is shown, a kind of backpack where the four elements are located that also looks great. Also the glider of Korra which looks pretty good even has an effect of flowing in the air. And an emote of the avatar using the four elements, as if he was entering the avatar state. And finally a skin of Korra very very powerful in which we have an avatar I would say that even after the fourth season. Since what this cut is as seen in book 4 but looks a little more adult even. The interesting feature is that it is in avatar state but as it looks at the time of re-merge with Rava. All these items will be obtained by doing quests in general quite basic during the game. In addition to this, a kind of mini-map where the Iceberg of Aang is located, was leaked to be released soon. Apparently and according to what I understood, this will start appearing far away from the map and week by week it will get closer until it is added to the normal game map. With regard to future characters, there is still not even the slightest rumor, but putting the Iceberg of Aang, obviously he is going to come out. Maybe Kyoshi with the fame he got after the live action in his novels, and surely Zuko, Iroh, Toph, and Katara will be there. I don't think they will bring out more characters from the Legend of Korra, and if they do, I think it will be Zaheer or Amon. Continuing with the Avatar games, the future mobile game, Realms Collide announced through the official Discord group, that the story of the game was written by one of the writers of the series. We don't know exactly who, but it's a step closer to having good quality content and a great show of interest from the studio to do things right. I will keep you posted on what happens during the week with these little games. I send you a big hug, I'll be seeing you tomorrow with more videos.